everyone, this is Vindri again or welcome back to my channel. In my last episode, I show you how to make my Saitan. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to make Saitan in Chikabin skewers. In Chikabin, it's actually Malaysian fried chicken. But of course, I modified the recipe and just kind of come up with a creative idea how to make it more appealing. I actually made this recipe before for my friends and they love it so much. However, at that time, I made 100% vegetarian and in this episode, I'm not going to show you how to make the vegetarian version, but I will put the ingredients for the vegetarian version down below. And trust me guys, this recipe is so amazing. It tastes so good. It's so lemon grassy. It has a lot of spices and oh, it's so hard to explain because it's kind of like when you bite it, well, it's a flavor explosion, okay? And in my personal preference, I usually marinate the chicken or seitan overnight so that the chicken or seitan can absorb all those goodness inside the seasoning. And then I fry it the next day. I think that's the best way, but of course, if you are really hungry, it is up to you. You can just marinate it for 15 minutes or 10 minutes and put it in the oil and you eat it. And of course, it's gonna be great. Anyway, I can't wait to show you how to make this amazing food. But as always, before I start cooking, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and hit that little notification button so you won't miss anything if I upload new content. And as always, guys, first of all, thank you so much. Actually, I earn quite a lot watching hours lately. Thank you so much for your support. But again, I wanted to remind you, don't forget to watch all my videos. Well, you don't have to watch it. Just let your cat, your dog, or your fish watch them because I need those watching hours to monetize my channel so that I can freeze my eggs. Again, TMI, but I don't care. All right then, let's put my apron and start cooking. For this recipe, you will need around 400 grams of seitan. These are the seitan that I made from the last episode. One big shallot, six cloves, two stalks of lemongrass. Actually, you will need only the white part and I chop it like this because I'm going to grind it together with the rest of ingredients. You will also need one lemon, one tablespoon of sugar and one tablespoon of salt, Worcester sauce. If you are vegetarian, you can also use another alternative. I just found this one from the supermarket or you can also use my fake Worcester sauce slash fish sauce recipe, which is this mix of soy sauce and hoisin sauce, also balsamic of vinegar. These are the seasoning mix. You will need all of them around half tablespoon so you will need black pepper, turmeric, coriander powder, cumin powder, cinnamon powder, celery salt, and chili. Or in this case, I mix chili with paprika powder. You will also need coconut milk. You can use it around 100 ml. If you don't have coconut milk at home, you can also replace it with yogurt. But in that case, you don't need lemon anymore because yogurt has already the acidity. Also, the last thing I would like to add to my recipe today is my Indonesian secret weapon, which is the beef stock. Okay, let's start cooking. So now how it looks, let's deep fry this gorgeous in a very hot oil. Oh 
All right, guys, this is the final product of my Saitan in Chikabin skewers. It smells so good and I can't wait to taste this. So let's try. It's way too salty, <laughs> but it tastes amazing. Um, yeah, the fake chicken, in my opinion, it's really close to chicken. Hmm, it's really good with rice, I would say. Hmm. But I love it. I really love it. You should really try and make it vegetarian if you want to or vegan. Um, it's depend on your preference. All right, guys, that was my Saitan Inchi Coven skewers. I hope you like this recipe and share it to your friends. And of course, you will try it at home too and let me know how you like it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in the next episode. Bye bye.